So, the new Flash trailer is here. What did I think? Uh, for the most part, yes, I did like it, but a few questions with plot as well as visual style. So let's deal with plot, and I will only do minor spoilers. I don't want to spoil the film for anyone, so nothing here will really ruin the film. So I'm a little bit puzzled with what Batman is saying. I assume we're getting Bruce Wayne. In the comics, it's Thomas Wayne, and there's a clever twist. Essentially what happens is Bruce dies, and his father becomes Batman. So I thought maybe they're going to do that. But no, his dialogue is a little bit all over the place, so it still seems like they're doing Bruce Wayne. But then that brings up the second question. With Supergirl, the way she's sort of blaming Barry, but I keep thinking to myself, how does she know that? So are Batman and Supergirl somehow aware of the multiverse? Maybe they're going to get a peek, maybe through a screen, or Batman has really strong technology. How would they be aware of him being blameworthy? That's a little puzzling. So the dialogue is a little bit confusing, but I will assume the obvious. He is Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, that line about let's get nuts doesn't make any sense. That's where it's not as strong as I hoped. So visually, I was hoping they were going to cure some of the problems from the first trailer. That doesn't seem to have happened. Because overall, the visual look is very, very good. I know major issues, but in some special effects shots, it looks really fake. I mean, it looks really, really fake. So that was very distracting. And when they're not moving too quickly, they look fine. But when the actors are sort of using super speed, you can definitely tell it's a lot of computer graphics, so that was a little bit jarring. Visually, it does still look a little sloppy here and there. But I do think Machete has definitely proven he's a great director. These trailers are very, very promising. Overall, I think the film will be very, very good, but there will probably be a few moments that visually my eyes are going to just really, really not like what I'm seeing. But And more and more of what we're getting with Batman and Ben Affleck and everything is tying together. And I really love the music. The music is really powerful in this. I think they built this up very, very well. Overall, this does feel like a very, very strong entry. It's definitely going to be controversial because they're going to try to retcon away a lot of the Snyderverse, which I don't like, but I do think they're going to leave the door open to perhaps revisiting what Zack did with his version of the DCU. So I'm hopeful that they'll sort of compromise with them retconning the multiverse or whatever they're going to do. But in terms of the main story, I do think that this trailer accidentally gave too much away. I'm not going to give my theory here, but I think if you paid attention to the beginning, you're like, that's basically the whole film. Because there has to be a twist, and that gets back to the visual look. Because Flash 1 and Flash 2 look a little weird, and I realize, yes, you have to differentiate the flashes, or it will be confusing, but... One of the flashes just looks terrible, terrible, but I realize you have to make the flash look a little different or you'll be confused, but I think they could have found a better way with that one. So overall, I do give this a very, very high set of marks. Definitely recommend you watching it and try to give the flash a chance, but I will agree that, yeah, mm, some of the dialogue was a little cringy, the callbacks were a little weird, and the visual style still looks very, very erratic positives are way stronger than the negatives so I'm very confident this will be a very great film probably one of the best films of the whole year but I wonder at the end of the day how this will make sense not just with its own story but with the broader I guess architecture that they're going to set up with James Gunn because because technically Ezra has not signed back on as Flash so are we beginning with a new Flash we're keeping this old Flash will it be a compromise a lot, a lot of questions. Overall, very, very strong trailer, but a lot of questions. Some, not too bad, but some I do find a little alarming with what they're going to do with the overall mythology as we move forward.